All right, so for the first time in more than a year, more than a year, bumalik na ulit ako sa Shopee kasi I banned Shopee because of JNT delivery. Kasi ang pinaka main courier ng Shopee ay JNT. And last year, ang dami kong hindi na deliver na items and all of them were paid via Shopee Pay Later. So, napansin namin dito sa barangay namin dito sa Makati, ang style ng mga taga JNT, pag nagbayad ka, lalo na yung papuntang Christmas and after New Year. So, pag, pag uh, bayad na yung parcel mo at hindi COD, ang gagawin nila, hindi nila yun i-deliver and they're gonna assign fake delivery rider sa mismong parcel mo. Alright? yung taong yun na nandun pati yung kan- kanyang contact number yung nakatalagang uh, delivery rider hindi nag exist kasi nga dito sa barangay dito sa Makati magkakilala yung mga yan hindi nila kilala kung sino yung si Joseph Pelasco for example so lahat halos lahat ng mga tapos meron pa isa eh halos lahat ng mga items ko well actually lahat sila more than 10 items hindi na deliver because of JNT's fraudulent you know, I don't know, tactic, transactions, etc. So, I this I tried to com- complain. I, ha- I I filed a complaint with Shopee and they didn't do anything. Kasi nga, baka naman yung isa lang yung stockholder or yung may-ari. Ewan ko, anong tie-up meron sila na hindi nila kaya yung bitiwan ng JNT. So, that's the reason why I decided to stop buying from Shopee despite the fact that they continue to increase my Shopee pay later uh, yung maximum allowable amount na pwede kong utangin sa kanila. So, uh, the reason why I got back to Shopee is because of this item that I got today. So, nakaka-deliver lang to. It just took two days for this parcel to get delivered. And, habi ko, I was comparing prices on on the Blue app and then the Shopee app and then TikTok then and then uh, Facebook marketplace ang mahal so for example this item um, it's an acrylic uh, shoe box basically it's being sold on Lazada for like uh, 280 to 300 plus pesos mahal so kasi yung yung quality ng kanyang plastic na acrylic is is maganda and then dun sa, sa Facebook, it's being sold for 300 pesos flat. And then sa Shopee, ganun din, halos hindi magkakali yung pressure. And then I check on Shopee for the first time after a year. And ang mura. And then um, it's it was just being sold for like 219 pesos if I'm not mistaken. 219 pesos. And take note, when I apply the voucher for Shopee Pay Later, I got a 600 pesos discount. So... I got a total of 12 boxes, acrylic boxes from the same shop and I only paid 2,050 pesos, 56, 2,056 and that already includes yung, yung discount na 600 pesos plus. Alright, so, oh my god, kawawatong pusa ko. So this is my new kitten that I got. Uh, from Market Market BGC. So, yeah. Gusto nyo, ewan ko bakit yung pusa. Gusto, gusto nyo yung plastic. Ewan ko. So, anyways, we're gonna unbox this. This kitchen knife is not gonna be for my cat, of course. That's gonna be animal abuse. So, alright. We're gonna open this box. Pero titignan natin kung <laughs> nandito yung price. So, anyways. Dito ko muna be. Alright. Ah, okay. Nandito pala yung yung information. So, okay. Ayaw ko ipakita yung aking address and everything. Ah, walang nakalagay na price kasi nga. It's already paid. But, this came from Laguna, I think. Oh, Cavite. Galing siya sa Cavite. Ang bigat. Sobrang bigat to. Kasi nga yung, yung quality ng plastic is acrylic. So, Kaya ang bigat siya. Ito na nga. The moment of truth. Kung walang sira, walang nabasag. Kasi nga, acrylic. 
over the past years, sa gusto ko makatipid, I was purchasing, buying cheap, you know, shoe organizer. So, kumuha ko ng parang, ewan ko yung mga um, elevated shoe organizer, my, my rack, etc. At ang daling masira. So, nasisira sila at nababangga ko pag, at they collapse as well. So, my God, so I've been trying to save money pero hindi pala ako nakasave ng pera kasi nga, at the end of the day, masasikira din sila. So, I hope, oh my God, so this is it. So, yeah. Oh my God, totoo nga. So, it's not too good to be true. It's true. It's real. So, yung isang ganito, ang bigat nga niya. So, sugo half kilo or more than half kilo. So, we're gonna assemble this. So, Actually, I don't know, um, pero siguro common sense lang naman. It's like jigsaw puzzle, di ba? So, for example, how? Ito yung magnetic part niya, di ba? So, ito yung cover. Yeah, ang pangit lang sa acrylic is that it can get broken, right? So, ito na nga, may basag. For example, this one. Basag to. See? Oh. As expected, may basag. Alright. Anyway, so sana hindi ganong karaming basag. Okay lang naman. I can tolerate it. Without complaining. So, paano na ngayon to? Ah, paano i-assemble? Alam ko, ito yung kanyang katawan. Katawan, katawan, katawan. Ganyan. May sira nga. So, may basag. Ito nga yung problema dito. Mga pre. Install the two panel times two. So, ito yun. Ito yung opening. Kasi nga yung opening niya is dito. Sa harap. So, front opening nga. di ba? Ang hirap dito. And after like five minutes, nakabuo rin tayo. And good thing yung basag na part. Alright? Yung nakita nyo kanina na basag na part ay nasa ilalim. So, ito yung opening and it's magnetic indeed. So, ang maganda kasi dito ay magnetic siya. So, close na close yung yung shoes mo. Hindi siya malalagyan ng alikabok, maging dusty, at kung ano mga elemento. So, uh, just make sure that when you try to assemble, uh, do it on a flat surface na kung saan you'd be comfortable. So, papakita ko na lang sa inyo. Gagawin. Uh, just to assemble one item. So, kagaya na nakikita nyo, ang daming plastic. So, siguro magagamit ko to sa poop ng aking cat. Dito ko sila i-store. Diba? Para sa basura. Alright. These ones are what you need. So, ito yun. So, ito yung cover. Ito yung side panels. Alright. So, ito yung the width panel. Horizontal. I don't know. But anyways. So, ganyan lang siya. You're gonna start somewhere. Alright. Kagaya nito. So sabi ko, kahit anong siguro, kahit anong position, pwede. As long as, makawa mo itong dalawang ito. Magko-connect yung apat. So once you connect this, then, yung base. So good thing naman, walang breakage, walang aksidente ng transit. So, ganyan siya. Ingat. So, gaganyan mo. Once na pumatong na sila, dun na magkakaroon ng relationship. Diba? Yan. Connection. Yan. Magkukonnect at magkukonnect din yan. Gaya nito. So, Again, you might need to use some force, pero ingat-ingat pa rin. 
kasi baka mag-break. Alright, so, same thing here. Ganun lang. Connect. Without breaking. Yeah, medyo bumibilis na ako this time. Kasi once you get the drill, madali na lang siya. So, ito na ngayon. Ito yung pinaka-challenging. Uh, I was able to get kanina kung paano gagawin. Kasi, ayaw ko nakikita sa camera pero gaganyan lang yan. Ito yung mahirap ipasok. Kasi pag nag-snap to, naputol, mahirapin na. Diba? Okay, so, ang ginawa ko, dinaan ko sa side, ganyan. Kasi, yan lang yung medyo may ito kasi yun, o. For example, that one. Gaganyan. Yun. Once pumasok, you're good. So, alright. Ganyan lang. So, simple. And you continue with the rest. So, we have assembled four already. And uh, what you're gonna see next is going to be the result. Alright. So, I had... To record this because I realized that upon or during editing, I'm pangit pala medyo ma hindi ganong kalinaw yung recording ng aking Insta 360 Go 3. And uh, mas malinaw pa tong iPhone na gamit ko. Alright, so okay, here's my newly adapted cat. So this is. One of the shoe racks na binili ko na nagsisi ako. Alright, although medyo matibay naman siya pero nagkukulap siya minsan pag maraming nakalagay. So, okay. So, nilagyan ko na lang ito ng mga old shoes na hindi ko nagkamit. And then, yung mga walking shoes ko minsan na hindi ko nagkamit. Binibili ko yan sa lasada, hindi ko rin naman nagkamit. And then, bumili rin ako nito. This is like, itakabit mo sa door. It's... Uh, nakakabit siyang ganyan sa door ko so ganyan siya so nandito yung mga shoes na halo-halo na yan hindi nagagamit minsan nagagamit <laughs> right so yeah sometimes it doesn't actually make sense for you to buy inexpensive cheap or affordable shoe boxes or organizers kasi nga magsisisi ka rin kayo at the end diba? so this is it this is the final review ito na yung box na na-assemble natin kanina yes uh, uh, bit nya tira ang name ng aking to let up the cat so yes what oh, sinisipon sinisipon siya nahanap ko siya sa market market okay. so siya yung dalawang shoes pag patungin mo lalo pag low cut pero mga high cut kagaya nito so, isa lang diba? 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 usually yung part na nagagamit ko na shoes because everyday kasi parang pag ako pag mayroon akong gustong shoes araw-araw siya gamitin <laughs> tapos nakalimutan ko may mga ibang shoes pa pala ako so yun Araw-araw ko yung nagamit for some reason. This one. Then, this one na bagong new balance ko na nabili. So, and sometimes that, yung white, I seldom use this kasi yung white. Alright, so the boxes look classy when assembled. As you can see here. The, they look classy. And then, pwede nyo rin lagyan ng ng kitchen materials, pwede nyo gawing small cabinet. Ito. So, yun yung side nyo. Yun yung dito, kasi yung dalawang shoes, for example. Ito. Ito. And it kasi siya. So, and it's magnetic as well. So, as you can see, it's open. So, nagko-close. So, hindi na siya prone to dust. Kaya lang, kailangan nyo i-push para mag, mag, mag na yung magnet niya. Ito sa taas, instead of lagyan ko siya ng ano ano, nilagyan ko na lang halaman. Yeah. 
All right. So again, for the total price of two thousand fifty plus pesos. Sa iba, sa for example, Facebook, Lazada, each box is being sold for more or less three hundred pesos. So I save a lot actually. Yeah, but siguro ma one thousand six hundred pesos yung nasa ko dito. At nagkaroon pa ako ng discount kasi nagamit ko ulit after one year of banning or boycotting Shopee. Nagamit ko ulit yung kanilang Shopee Pay Later. So, take note, I didn't use or I haven't ordered from Shopee for more than a year. So, ang last kong order sa kanila was December. Kasi ang lahat na in-order ko nung December last year, two years ago na pala kasi nga last year ito yung 2023. So that was 2022 December. Ang order ako na more than 10 items. Maraming items yung order ko. Lahat sila hindi sila na deliver. Kasi ngayon din nagdi deliver ang tatlong siya all. Alright, sa akong tumalontong si Kira kanina dito. Tapos hindi na ko na nang buo kasi nga biglang na puno yung aking storage iPhone ko. So I was saying, lahat ang order ko more than 10 items sa JNT ay hindi na deliver kasi nga that time. Ang daming kabalasok na ginagawa ng GMT. So, hindi siya, hindi siya nag-deliver ng mga paid items. Alright? Paid deliveries from Shopee. So, ang daming nagre-reklamo dito sa barangay namin dito sa Makati. Kasi nga, lahat ng mga paid, may pattern, lahat ng paid items. Okay, now, it's either binayaran mo through Shopee Pay Later or or credit card or basta bayat na or Gcash. Lahat ng, na, halos lahat ng mga siguro tao dito. Kasi ang daming Uh, nagre-reklamo sa barangay page sa Facebook nagre-reklamo na lang GMT hindi nila dinideliver nilalagyan nila ng fake delivery rider yung yung mismo account para kunwari may magde-deliver pero hindi pala magde-deliver tapos sasabihin na pumunta tapos sabi customer rejected daw <laughs> customer rejected so hindi wala wala namang pumunta so pag customer rejected kasi yung nilalagyan nilang tag yun ang mangyayari is pwede nilang i-return i-return ka agad yun hindi kagaya ng Lazada na, you can appeal. You can sign a form uh, for re-delivery. Oh my God, what happened? Kasi sinupon siya, pinaligawan ko kasi nung kinuha ko. This was a week ago. Tapos nang ganyan na siya, sinisipon siya lagi. Tapos kumakain, yung kinakain niyang cat food, nilalagyan ko ng vitamin C. So, yun, uh, hindi siya nag-deliver, nanin-reklamo. And then, that's when I decided, enough is enough, I had to ban Shopee kasi nga, despite complaining, despite sending them bad reviews yung yung, uh, yung GNT and, and all that, wala silang ginawa, wala man lang response. So, I boycotted Shopee for more than a year until this time na I was looking for cheaper. Kasi nga sabi ko, may mas mura dyan. Hindi yan 300 pesos yung price niya. So, kasi when I was checking, on uh, Lazada, they're being sold for 300 to 316, 350, mga ganyan, may 500 pa. So, they're quite expensive. Ah, yung mga, yung mga boxes na yan. And then, I check on Facebook. May nagbebenta dito sa barangay page namin. Pero 300 pesos, which is actually, you know, uh, a reasonable price for me. But, ukuha ko lang marami, mga 12. Diba? And then, okay, uh, let me just check Shopee kung, kung meron silang cheaper and then oh after a like, couple of minutes of browsing may nakita nga ako ito 219 pesos yung kanilang original price and then no check out ko to 2600 plus yung yung uh, total price niya upon check out and then sabi ko okay let me just check kung mayroon voucher na ma-apply and then mayroon option there's an option for you to apply a voucher na may Shopee Pay Later. Ay, hindi ko maalala. Basta, I was just clicking. And then, naklik ko siya. And then, sabi niya, 60% discount. Something like that. Or, if I'm not mistaken. And then, nung chinick out ko na siya finally after applying the voucher for Shopee Pay Later, yung 2,600 plus naging 2,050 plus na lang. So, I saved a lot. So, I, at the fact that I was able to save more than 1,000 pesos, I was able to save 600 pesos as well after applying the voucher. So, yun lang yung, yung hassle, right? 
hack pagdating sa online shopping, all you need to do is look for alternatives, look for competitors, compare prices, and you will be able to save and apply applicable voucher if there are vouchers being offered to you. Alright, if you like this video, please like. Oh my god, look at his eyes. Nagmumuta siya, tapos natatakpan pa minsan ang muta niya. So, lagi ko siyang tinatanggal later. We're gonna remove that later, okay? Please like, share, and subscribe. And have a good one to all of you.